So, uh, exposing something that I just realized uh, that I do, which is um, hesitating before um, expressing my thoughts or emotions in like a real time living moment and um, the reason why I realize I do this is because it allows me a moment to suppress what was going to naturally arise uh, that was appropriate to the situation and um, instead suppress whatever thought or emotion or feeling was going to naturally arise in that situation and then using um, you know the, the, the interruption of the situation or my participation within it to um, then you know you know I thought of myself as being careful or considerate or thoughtful um, but what I was really doing is, is, is kind of like suppressing or like killing the program that was activated and would have been exposed as, as a, 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 a natural emotion or feeling. And, um, what has to happen is that another program has to be activated. So when I'm being thoughtful, what I'm really doing is waiting for the next program to, you know, I'm choosing a different program and I'm picking the thought from it and acting deliberately on that thought. And then my, my reaction to the situation is, uh, It's like I, I experience myself as being in control during it, but what's really going on is the, the next program is activated, but I'm sort of like expressing myself unnaturally um, from like a, usually an intellectual point of view or definitely not in a way that would allow me to feel vulnerable or exposed. Um, it's very calculated and it's almost like the observer observer as me within my mind is watching the situation and if it doesn't seem like I can get what I want out of it um, <clears throat> then it will uh, you know it'll activate you know some like intense emotional energy and I'll speak or act in that in such a way as to manipulate the other person and um, you know indicate strongly that I want uh, a certain outcome to happen from the situation but um, it's it's done in such a way that I'm sort of ensuring that I maintain the upper hand and this doesn't allow my natural emotional or feeling or thought reaction in a moment to come up and um, you know it's not that it's bad that I'm having an emotional or feeling reaction um, in the first place which is maybe where I started doing this because I learned or taught myself that it was bad to be having an, an emotional reaction, a raw emotional reaction, um, which, you know, letting yourself be possessed by it and not being in control in the situation is not good, but what I was doing was actually going in and su suppressing the emotion or feeling or thought from coming up at all and so that allowed me to um, to not have that emotion or feeling be exposed um, 
according to what its actual normal resonant trigger would be in the environment. So I was sort of using my knowledge and information of the system to uh, suppress and therefore avoid exposure of my emotions and feelings and um, I, I missed out on a lot of opportunities to uh, you know have those those thoughts and emotions possibly called out or um, exposed and therefore I missed an opportunity to learn from it so um, just you know don't do what I did and suppress yourself in a moment sort of you got to let the let the the emotion come up and run its course and then you know then you can go back you you know then if it keeps coming up the same emotion with the same trigger then you can sort of identify the trigger and later on through self-writing, you know, forgive yourself for the emotions attached to it when you have, you know, the time and the space and uh, the ability to, you know, exercise that emotion um, in writing uh, in a way that's, you know, going to make sure that you're no longer, you know, possessed by it and um, able to create consequences for yourself and your life by it but if you do what I do and just bypass the whole um, situation by suppressing the emotion from even being expressed in the first place then you're not going to um, you're not going to get uh, realistic feedback on how that emotion uh, affects your environment and therefore you're not going to have good data on how th how it actually um, plays out and and you won't get that feedback so you can learn why it's not good to go into that emotional reaction um, but you're not going to be able to, to learn that lesson if you don't allow yourself to actually express the thought or the emotion in the first place so um, Thanks for watching.